and Maddie, and it's breakfast time. What's your favourite thing to have at breakfast? I like lots of different things. Fruit, toast, porridge, pancakes. But today I'm having cereal with milk. There are lots of different types of cereal, but most cereal is made from grains, which comes from plants. This is wheat biscuit cereal, and it's made from a plant called wheat. And that looks like this. Can you see the little seeds? But how do we go from this to this? Do you know how wheat biscuits are made? Let's find out. Cereal! To find out how wheat biscuits are made, I've come to a cereal factory! At this cereal factory, they make over 60 million wheat biscuits every week. That's the same weight as six blue whales. How does it start? First, we need our main ingredient, whole grain wheat and it's brought to the factory inside this container. And Gary is just collecting some for us now. Doesn't the grain make a lovely sound? It's a bit like rain. The wheat is grown in fields on farms where it's harvested and brought to the factory. Here the grain is stored in really, really tall towers called silos. wheat biscuits, a mixture of malt and water is poured into some sugar and salt. After a good stir, it's time to add the main ingredient, whole grain wheat. All of those ingredients need to be mixed together and cooked. That happens inside here. It's called the pressure vessel. As it spins around, steam is being pumped inside the pressure vessel onto the grains. If you've ever watched a grown-up make some pasta, you might have seen steam rising from a hot pan. Well, it's the heat from the steam that cooks the grains and makes them nice and soft. What do you think they'll look like when they come out? They're now soft and sticky. They've gone from this to this. And they smell amazing. But they still don't look like wheat biscuits yet. So next, they need to be dried out in the air drying machine. The grains travel on a moving belt and inside, warm air blows through silver tubes. And these dry the grains out a little bit to stop them sticking together. But it's quite tricky to see, so I'm going to use my special camera in slow motion. My slow motion camera lets us see things that happen quickly, much slower. blows down onto the grains, it makes them jump around. It looks like they're dancing. Now the outside of the grains are nice and dry, they get sucked up through this tube to another machine. It's called a rolling mill, and inside the grains fall onto some rollers and they squash and flatten the grain. But things are about to get really noisy. Take it away, Gary. Can you see the pressed grains coming out the other side? Whoa! It's snowing cereal. I can't believe how different it looks. All those grains have been flattened and squashed and turned into flakes. They're still a little bit wet because, look, I can the biscuit forming machine, where Gary puts the flaky grains into some moulds. Now it's my turn. So first we put the funnel in the mould and then we take our flakes and just drop them inside, flatten them out a little bit and there we go. This machine Ooh. then squishes the flakes together into a biscuit shape. These look great, don't they? 
but they're still a little bit soft, watch. And we don't want that. We want our wheat biscuits to be nice and crunchy. So they've got to go through an oven. Once they've been baked, the wheat biscuits are lovely and crispy. Listen to this. What a good snapping sound. That was brilliant. What was your favourite part about seeing how wheat biscuits are made? Do you remember what the machine was called that made the wheat grains really soft? That's right, it's called the pressure vessel. Did you hear the noise the grain made as it dropped into the bucket? And did you see the grains of wheat jump around when we looked at them on my special camera? So the next time you eat some wheat biscuits, you'll know how they're made. But wheat's not the only thing we grow in fields. We grow lots of fruits and vegetables too. What do you think grows in this field? It's potatoes, which grow in the soil in the ground. Do you like potatoes? You might have had jacket potatoes with butter, mashed potatoes, or maybe even potato chips. Here, they grow thousands of potatoes every single year. And to pull them out of the ground, they need a very special machine. It's called a potato harvester, and it's attached to the back of a tractor. And it pulls up loads of potatoes all in one go. But how does it work? Let's find out. How does it work? Potato harvester. In this field, thousands of potatoes have been growing for around six months. And today, finally, they're big enough to be harvested. Isn't that exciting? You should never play on or go near farm machinery without a grown-up, but I've been given special permission to show you how it works. Can you see the potato harvester is being pulled by a tractor? And it's got a red arm on the side that looks like it's got some rotating blades going round and round. Around the other side, we can see that the potato harvester has its own trailer, which is being pulled by another tractor. And this is where all the potatoes are collected. And there are all the potatoes. But to find out how the potato harvester pulls a whole field of potatoes so quickly, I think we should take a closer look. When the potato harvester travels along the field, the blades go round and round, digging into the ground, scooping up the potatoes into the machine. The soil and potatoes are carried up moving steps called webs. The webs have holes in them, and so any soil and tiny potatoes fall through the holes. Next, Potatoes go through two sets of rubber rollers that pull off any stems and hard lumps. The potato is dropped onto the picking off table where they are checked to see if they're good to eat. The good potatoes go up an elevator and the fall breaker at the end makes sure they get a soft landing so they don't get bruised. When all ten boxes are filled with potatoes, the farmer switches off the potato harvester and takes them back to the farm. How clever is that? Have you ever seen a tractor in real life? I've got special permission to ride in this one to show you how a potato harvester works, and I'm going to take my special camera in with me. Georgie's driving the tractor today and it's pretty bumpy in here. Can you see all the buttons and levers inside the tractor? Georgie uses them to control the potato harvester. But look, Georgie's got his own special cameras that are dotted all over the potato harvester. The cameras help him to see the potatoes as they come up out of the ground. Let's go down and see the potatoes coming out. This is where the blades are scooping into the ground to dig the potatoes up and there they are travelling up the webs and the webs are shaking the soil loose and there it is, 
falling back down to the ground. Next, the potatoes have their stems removed by the rubber rollers. But it's quite difficult to see, so I think we should use one of my special cameras. Which I attached before we started harvesting. Can you see the rubber rollers? They take off the potato roots and any hard lumps of soil that might still be stuck on the potato. But where are they going now? This is Vlad and it's his job to make sure that there aren't any big chunks of soil or stones in between all the potatoes. You're very quick. <laughs> Look at them all. There are hundreds of potatoes being picked up and sorted every minute. That's not a potato, it's a spoon! We don't want that. Sometimes the potatoes get broken in the machinery, so they also go down the chute. But nothing goes to waste. Any potatoes like this will get fed to animals on the farm. Once they've been picked through by hand, the good potatoes go on to the elevator. The potatoes drop into these shelves and are taken from the harvester onto the trailer that travels alongside. <laughs> I love the sound of the potatoes falling into this box. This is the fall breaker and inside the net there are bands and they make sure that the potatoes fall into these boxes gently so they don't get too battered or bruised. On the back of the trailer there are 10 crates and each of them can carry about a tonne of potatoes that's the same weight as a baby elephant. Georgie is the leveller and it's his job to make sure that none of the crates overflow with potatoes. But when they're just right at the top, he'll tell the driver who will move the fall breaker to a new crate. Once all the crates on the trailer are full, the potatoes go to a warehouse where they're stored until they're ready to go to the shop. I love finding out how potato harvesters work. What was your favourite part? Do you remember the part that takes the potatoes to the trailer? That's right, it's the elevator. Did you hear the sound of the potatoes dropping into the boxes? And did you see the rubber rollers cleaning the potatoes when we looked at them on my special camera? So the next time you have some potatoes, you'll know how they were collected and sorted by a potato harvester. And if you eat some wheat biscuits, you'll know how they were made. I'll see you next time. There are lots of things.